Over the past few weeks, NVIDIA has become a darling of semiconductor investors. And it's not because of their gaming GPU sales, but as I covered very early on, due to their Hopper and A100 sales being out of control. And to this day, I really have nothing new to report in that department. People cannot get a hold of H100 as easily as they want to. And in fact, I'm starting to hear some interesting stories of how NVIDIA is resorting to, well, interesting methods of trying to keep up with demand and better control the supply of their AI portfolio against some of their partners. And yeah, that actually might become a video very soon. But right now, today, I actually want to talk about whether or not AMD just proved with their AI and data center technology showcase that they are to be taken every bit as seriously as NVIDIA when it comes to AI products and capitalizing monetarily on this expanding market. And the first thing I actually need to mention on this point, though, well, I think I just need to start, obviously, by saying that Intel is just, as far as I can tell, not even in the same solar system of competition anymore as AMD and NVIDIA when it comes to multiple segments. Indeed, AMD actually started their showcase by showing their leadership with Genoa over a $17,000 golden sample variant of Sapphire Rapids, and it's not even close. But worse yet for Intel, Genoa, yeah, that's better than Sapphire Rapids for most customers already, but Bergamo in Genoa X is about to extend that lead in some departments even more to the point that it seems like AMD is about to be more than one generation ahead of Intel. Yet again, making me actively question if Intel is really making up any lost ground overall year over year. But actually, I do want to drill down on that last point I just made about if Intel's starting to catch up to AMD. You see, all of these big charts and benchmark wins AMD showed off, I think a lot of people are just used to seeing that anytime AMD announces and unveils new server products. But there's a very real reason AMD wasn't just bragging today, but specifically outlining each Zen 4 product against Intel's best platinum sample parts. What AMD is basically saying to their partners and to investors without directly saying it is that if we're over twice as good as what Intel has now, that means that not just Emerald Rapids, but also probably Granite Rapids and Sierra Forest next year do not stand a chance. And so there's no point in waiting for Intel. We have what they're going to have in a year now. So just sign up and work with us. And, you know, a lot of partners went on stage today and did just that. They signaled that they are going with AMD with more and more of their products. And, you know, to add insult to injury... Granite Rapids, which I exclusively leaked the configuration of months ago, is definitely also more expensive to make than these products AMD is going to be selling now. And in fact, when I think back on that Intel's nerfed future video where I finalized what the design of Granite Rapids is, you know, in that video, I actually alluded that one of Intel's key customers was thinking of dropping Intel across the board and that if they did that, I felt like it could be the start of a rush to the exit for many more of Intel's customers because if they saw that customer leaving, they'd go, well, then we should leave as well. I'm not going to say which customer that is because I've been sworn not to, but I will say, that customer was on stage with AMD today, and they didn't do the worst case scenario that would have caused that, but they stopped just short of doing that. And that is, that's got to be really scary for anyone who works at Intel watching what AMD showed off today. But at this point, we're even just talking about the CPU side, where AMD isn't just ahead of Emerald Rapids, but could be ahead of Granite Rapids as well. I also want to talk about the AI side, but first in ad from Micro Center. Micro Center is opening up a new store in Indianapolis, the first new store in eight years, bringing the total to 25 nationwide. Now, by signing up and visiting this new Indianapolis store, you can receive a 128 gigabyte flash drive for free. You do need to go to that location, but if you're in the area and you do, you don't even need to be a new customer. You can be a faithful customer of Micro Center that happens to visit their new store, and you can get this deal of just getting a free flash drive. But you know, if you are a new customer, Customer, you can get $25 off all CPUs right now by using the link in my description 
or you can go there and check out Micro Center's month of laptop discounts like this ROG Strix laptop with a 300 hertz display and an RTX 3080 and one terabyte SSD for $600 off. Remember, you're helping Moore's Law is Dead if you choose to use any of these deals or even just click on the links in the description. So please support Moore's Law is Dead by clicking on those links below and check out Micro Center today. All right, now back on subject here. While I was on vacation last week, I dropped a Zen 5 leaked that seems to be flying under the radar right now. I leaked that Turin AI lets you swap out CPU chiplets for AI chiplets so that customers can decide exactly how much AI performance they want in a given product. And you can get to half the performance of Hopper in one of these far cheaper to produce products without even plugging in a PCIe device, saving you even further money and being perfect for embedded. And although I mentioned NVIDIA Hopper, the fact of the matter is the main competition of Hopper is AMD's MI300 products that are much more expensive, coming out sooner, and a lot more elaborate. Now, when I'm talking about Turin AI, AMD really sees this as a way to eliminate any arguments Intel's going to make about their special accelerators that they keep marketing for Sapphire Rapids and soon Emerald Rapids and Granite Rapids. You see, around when Granite Rapids is coming out next year, I'm now going to put on screen a benchmark I was sent by AMD Contacts a bit ago that I now feel comfortable and safe sharing. You see, by the time Granite Rapids is launching, AMD feels they will have Turin AI. If you swap out a CPU chiplet for just one AI engine, you're already beating the accelerator in AI performance of Intel Sapphire Rapids 56 cores. Well, undoubtedly having better CPU performance with more Zen 5 cores than those 56 Sapphire Rapids cores. And it's to the point that AMD feels comfortable pointing out that if you go two AI chiplets on Turin AI, that your AI performance is likely to beat what they project roughly Granite Rapids is going to offer in AI performance and other uses for their accelerators. Well, again, if you're comparing even just like 64 Zen 5 cores to 84 Redwood Plus Cove cores, which is basically like a better version of what's going to go in Meteor Lake, they think that they're going to have comparable CPU performance in that department as well. And so, yeah, AMD basically thinks that this new offering is going to eliminate all the accelerator arguments Intel's been making and that customers can choose how much AI performance, how much CPU performance do they want. They can tailor it exactly where they need it. And it also costs less than the competition. And, you know, the funny thing is this is going to cost a lot less than MI300 as well. And so, yeah, actually now let's talk about MI300. But when I do that, I'm basically done talking about Intel because right now they are one or two generations behind AMD and CPU performance. Uh, they aren't really competing well in AI right now with MI300. And soon AMD will have lower cost options that really eliminates their budget AI arguments with their accelerators as well. But when it comes to MI300, look, this thing looks freaking awesome. Uh, since I leaked it a, a year ago and showed you guys what it would look like, I thought this thing just looked like finally this mega heterogeneous multi-chiplet super design type product that we've all been assuming AMD was probably working on eventually. Uh, and and this looks fantastic. It looks like it's a true Hopper competitor. Don't get me wrong. Heck, in some applications, it should absolutely crush Hopper. But... The issue is that right now AI is already in a gold rush bubble and NVIDIA has the perfect pickaxe H100 and even A100 for early AI researchers to get in right now. Well, AMD is forced to sit on the sidelines while NVIDIA exploits this bubble that they wish they could exploit already. Now look, if that bubble, this AI bubble, continues to expand rapidly for a couple of years or more, and I definitely think it could, then AMD is still very much positioned well to cater to specific chiplets and specific products to specific customers for years. And that's why Lisa made sure early in the presentation to emphasize that this AI market is going to grow by nearly fourfold in the next four years. They are pointing that out because they know they're not going to exploit it this year. And I actually think it's weird some journalists were acting like MI300 is launching now. It's sampling now. And MI300X is sampling in months from now. It's not really going to be ready in high volume 
until Hopper's really been shipping uh, for about a year in high volume. And that just means AMD is missing the initial gold rush while NVIDIA has the perfect pickaxe to hand partners. And if you go online and see some investors or analysts a little disappointed in AMD today, the reason they would be disappointed is because they wish AMD had some quickly thrown together Genoa AI or some other product ready to launch right now to take on Hopper. But the fact of the matter, AMD doesn't. Although, I have to say, if you're criticizing AMD for not having something this very second to compete with Hopper, most of those analysts that would say that seem to think that AI is going to explode in revenue and the TAM is going to expand a ton year over year for years. If you actually think AI is about to go to the moon, then it's going to be years of it going to the moon and look at the performance MI300 is offering and look at the elaborate design AMD is offering. The most anti-AMD pro-NVIDIA argument you can make right now is that NVIDIA over-ordered 4 nanometer capacity from TSMC, but now they can pivot a lot of that capacity to Hopper at the perfect time. That's true, but if you think this is going to keep expanding, guys, I don't know what to tell you here. If you think this is going to keep expanding, AMD has the chiplet technology to definitely bring competition to NVIDIA long-term. And any idea that the future NFT metaverse of AI people on the moon is going to happen... I don't see the evidence that NVIDIA is destined to dominate all aspects of it. I just think it's obvious they have the perfect tool for people getting into AI with easy-to-use software now. But if you actually believe in that moonshot future of the AI market, then you should probably actually be betting a lot on AMD. They, they've emphasized heavily how hard they are working on their software. If they had software as good as NVIDIA, their hardware would probably already be better if you look at the benchmarks. And so, yeah, at the end of the day, though, it just depends how you look at it. NVIDIA is better now. AMD has the better hardware soon. But then NVIDIA is going to respond with uh, Blackwell while AMD is trying to work on their software. It's just, no matter how you pick this, they both seem like they're going to be ready to take on this market in, in different ways. And I just close this out with what I titled this video. It's really just starting to feel like it's a race between AMD and NVIDIA and maybe Apple and other people working on their own AI tech as well. And Intel, they're just not in any of these conversations. They're just in the rear view mirror. And that is going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like it, share it, double check that you're subscribed to the Moore's Laws at YouTube channel. Half of the viewers every month are apparently not subscribed to the channel, according to the statistics I was looking at on YouTube. That really does help us so much when you do that. And then, of course, ring the bell button so you actually see all those notifications for more upcoming opinion pieces and leaks out of this channel as well. And if you have the extra money, consider supporting Moore's Law Zed on Patreon. We have a new die shrink, which are typically 45 to one and a half hour videos only for patrons. No ads coming out later this week. And you'll be able to ask guests and, you know, the normal host me and Dan questions as well if you have the proper tiers on Patreon. And there's all this other exclusive content out there as well for just 2 or $4 a month. We cannot do this without the stable income from our patrons. It pays me, Gerard, and a whole team here at Moore's Law is Dead. But for everybody else, no matter what, just thank you even for watching. <laughs>